In today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 drugstore skincare products that I absolutely love. These are the 10 that I would repurchase over and over because they are that good. And the drugstore has a lot of great finds, as you know. And although I do like a lot of products from the drugstore, these are my top 10, like I said. So let's get right into today's video. And of course, all of these products are going to be linked below for you for your reference. All right, so the first product that I'm gonna be talking about is one that I've been using for several years, and I just keep repurchasing it because it's just that good. It works really well. So this is the Bioderma Makeup Removing Micellar Water. Now this is extremely gentle, even around the eyes, and if I'm having one of those light makeup days, maybe it's one of those no makeup makeup days, I will use this sometimes just to remove everything as that first cleanse, of course, and then I go in with my cleanse or afterwards but if I'm applying makeup and let's say I'm trying to do that winged out look which sometimes it's hard to do I get days where I can get it right away and then there are days where it's a little bit more challenging so I like to put a little bit of this on a q-tip or even on a flat makeup brush something that's really pointy that can give me that defined line and I use this to clean it up so that that winged out look is nice and crisp and it's nice and clean as well. So I use this even when I'm applying my makeup just to clean up certain areas but then of course this is excellent to remove waterproof mascara, your makeup and even your sunscreen. So I really love this and I can't stop purchasing it. Next up is the Verse Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. One of my favorites from the drugstore. This is also very affordable as well. And this does a very good job to remove water resistant sunscreens, waterproof makeup, it does a great job. This is very, very similar to the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm in the way that it performs. But I like this because you don't have to work at your skin for too long before everything is just melted right off. So it's very quick to use. All you need is about a dime size amount really to remove everything. And I love using this at night, of course, as that first cleanse and then go in with a cleanser after. So if I'm not using the Bioderma, then I am using something like this. Now this has vitamin E, avocado oil, eucalyptus oil, jojoba oil, and there is also clove as well. So this does have fragrance. So if you don't like that, you may not like this, but I do believe the scent is very mild. It's not too strong and it actually smells really nice when you are using this, but this really is one of my favorites from the drugstore to remove my makeup and sunscreen. The Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Cleanser is one of my favorite cleansers from the drugstore as well. Very affordable. This is actually the value size, which is 354 mils of product. I don't believe I have ever seen anything smaller than this, and this will last you a very long time. A little bit goes a long way with this. It really cleanses the skin nicely without stripping the skin. It doesn't make your skin feel tight either, and this is perfect for all skin types, including dry, sensitive skin. So there is oats in here, and oats is a humectant, but also this is a very calming ingredient. So if you are somebody that has sensitive skin, you have redness, any type of irritation, then this really is lovely to use. It doesn't leave a film on the skin either, and there are many times that I like to use this both morning and evening, especially in my morning routine. So this is hands down my my favorite cleanser from the drugstore. One of my favorite serums from the drugstore is the Coco Kind Ceramide Barrier Serum. This is hands down one of the best serums to add hydration, but also to help strengthen and repair the skin barrier. So this one has several different types of ceramides which help to strengthen the skin barrier, but there's also squalene and beta-glucan. Beta-glucan is very similar to hyaluronic acid, so it does help to hydrate and plump, but it's not as heavy as hyaluronic acid. So this, in my opinion, is a very lightweight formulation, but it has that milkiness to it as well. So when your skin needs that hydration or you really need to strengthen your skin barrier, maybe it's compromised, then that milky texture really feels nice on the skin. And also this spreads across the skin nicely as well. I have used this many times in my morning routine. This always sits nicely underneath my moisturizer, my sunscreen, and my makeup. You can use this every day, twice a day, or you can just use it when you need it. And this is very underrated. I feel like this whole entire brand is underrated. This feels very luxurious. I have 
I've said that to you guys many times, a lot of their products feel very high end to me and this product is one of the best in my opinion. So I really love this. The CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum has to be one of my favorite retinols from the drugstore. This formula is quite gentle in my opinion and it's also very moisturizing, but of course we all react differently to retinol, so you could possibly still experience irritation with this or even dryness. Now this product has a lovely formula, so this has an encapsulated retinol, so this is going to be even more gentle. It has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, your ceramides, and licorice root extract. So this product will help to improve that uneven skin tone. So if you have post acne marks, dark spots, this can be lovely. This is great if you have texture and also signs of aging. And if you're acne prone, then retinol can also be great to use as well. So I use this at nighttime and I actually like to use this on my neck, my chest, and on the backs of my hands. You can totally use this on your face, but I use tretinoin instead. So that's why I don't put this on my face. But I really like the way that this applies to the skin I do feel like this really is effective as well especially when you're consistent with it I've never had an issue with pilling either and this always sits nicely with all of my skincare products so if you're looking for a new retinol from the drugstore I highly recommend this one next up is the Aven physio lift eye cream this is one of the best from the drugstore in terms of a product that really helps to focus on crow's feet fine lines texture, but this can also help with dark circles and puffiness. Now this product contains a retinaldehyde. Retinaldehyde is one step closer to retinoic acid. So it's in between a retinol and tretinoin basically, retinoic acid. So this is a little bit stronger than your average retinol ingredient. So when you first start using this, you do wanna be cautious. I would say start with one or two days a week and then gradually increase from there because of course the skin around our eyes is so delicate and thin. Of course, this is designed for the eye area, but you should still be careful because when I first started using this, I did have a little bit of dryness in the inner corner of my eye. So this formula though, is very moisturizing and I do feel like it is quite plumping as well. I recommend to use this at nighttime though because it does have that retinaldehyde but this also has hyaluronic acid and of course the thermal spring water which Aven is known for. So all you need is one little pump on your ring finger and then just do that for both eyes. Less is more. You don't need a lot of this product and if you feel like this is causing a little bit of dryness then feel free to put another moisturizer on top of this just to moisturize a little bit more. But I love this and it really is great for signs of aging. Next up is the Bioma Moisturizing Gel Cream. I have talked about this many times on my channel and this really is a perfect formulation for the summer months, but honestly, this is great for all year round. It does have that nice moisture to it from that creaminess, but then of course that gel just creates more of that lightweight feel. So it doesn't feel heavy on the skin whatsoever. It always pairs up nicely with all of my skincare products, including my sunscreen and of course my makeup. Now I have mentioned before in the past that this is very, very similar and comparable to the CeraVe PM Facial Lotion, which I love. I'm not going to be sharing that product in this video as I have taken a break from it. I do still recommend it, but I feel like this is very similar and I also feel like this is a little bit more moisturizing than the CeraVe PM. Of course, based on my experience, with this. Now this one has nice cinnamide. This also has green tea, which is an antioxidant. And there is also triceramides, which will again help to strengthen and repair the skin barrier. So I really love this. It's a great option if you are looking for something that is lightweight, but still moisturizing enough. And the nice cinnamide in here really is great if you have oily skin. So this can help to reduce on excessive oil. Great if you're acne prone, but nice cinnamide can also be great if you have dry skin. And of course, if you have discoloration, as well. It really is a fabulous ingredient to have in skincare because it just does so many wonderful things. Next up is the Embryolease Cream Concentrate. This acts as that perfect makeup primer. Your makeup just applies so nicely on top of this, but this also gives your skin that nice radiance and that glow, and it moisturizes like a dream. So there are many ways that you can use this. So of course, you can use this as that makeup primer, as a moisturizer, but you can also use this as a mask. So of course, this would just be left on, or of course you can 
wipe it off when you're ready to remove it. I've never done that. I just feel like it's wasteful to do that. I just strictly use this as a moisturizer or of course something to use before my makeup. And they say you can use this as a makeup remover. And I've also never done that because I feel like that's quite wasteful. So I don't know how well this would work to remove mascara, water resistant sunscreens. I have no idea. If you've ever tried that, please let me know how it works. But this really is perfect as that leave on product. And I'm almost done this. This is also a wonderful product if you are somebody that has dry skin, but if you have oily combination skin, you are still going to love this. This one has fragrance, just so you know, but they do have a sensitive option that is fragrance free. And the packaging is now different, I believe as well. And I did mention this in a past video. I was online and I noticed that the packaging was completely changed, but I haven't seen it in my local Shoppers Drug Mart yet. So maybe it's coming to Canada soon. I don't know. But if it has changed, just know that the formula is the exact same. But this is one of the best from the drugstore, hands down. Next up is the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm B5. I honestly could not film this video without mentioning this product. So if your skin is parched, you're dry, you're flaky, your skin's feeling tight, you have that itch to the skin, this is exceptional. This is even great if you just have normal skin and your skin barrier is balanced. You can use this anytime. This is even better when you're using this with tretinoin or with retinol, something that is irritating and drying your skin. This can really help to cut down on some of that dryness that can happen a few days later from using an active ingredient. If you're someone that gets a lot of treatments done with your skin, so maybe laser, microneedling, then this is great to use post-treatment. And I think this is one of the best. I'm telling you right now. So if you've never tried the Cicaplast Balm B5, you have to try it at least once. And then come back and let me know how you like it. I know there's a lot of you watching this video that also love this as well. And La Roche-Posay really is one of the best drugstore brands, but this product is probably their best seller. If I had to guess, I bet you this really is because every time I've gone to my local shoppers, this is always sold out. Both the 100 mil size and I've even looked for the 50 mil, that one is usually sold out as well. So what does that tell you? It's really popular. So love it. And the final product is the Eucerin Calming Cream. I have talked about this on and off on my channel for several years now, and this is one of the best body creams. Now, I use this sometimes on my face. Sometimes I will use this on my neck, and of course, I use this all over my body. I started using this when I had a body rash a few years back. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I once had pityriasis rosea. And when you have this, it's very difficult to get rid of it. Sometimes it takes months before it disappears. I actually started using this product on my body because my body was very itchy. It was all rashed up and my skin almost felt like it was inflamed. And I wanted something that was very calming. This has oats. This is a very calming and soothing cream that really helps to nourish the skin. Within one week of using this, and I was using this at least three to four times per day when I had that rash. In one week's time, my entire rash, that pityriasis rosea, went away. So I'm assuming it's from this. I don't know 100%. Maybe my body just got rid of it. I don't know. But I was using this and it went away. So. I stuck with this cream since then. And since that rash, you know, sometimes I develop retinal burn on my neck. Sometimes my neck is very irritated. It feels like it's on fire. I get little pimples. I put this on my neck and this literally clears up that irritation within a couple of days. My neck is back to normal and I'm ready to go again. So if you have any type of sensitivity on your body, Honestly, pick up this. This is great to have on hand. Actually, I just purchased this, so this is a brand new one. I'm actually almost done the one that I have in my bathroom. And even if you have dry skin, you just want something to nourish and moisturize, this is great for every day, twice a day. So it just depends on how you wanna use it, but this really is a lifesaver. This is underrated, and I'm telling you, this works when your skin needs some TLC.
So those are my top 10 favorite drugstore skincare products. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you found it helpful. If you have any questions in regards to these products, please let me know in the comments below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. But I would love to hear from you. What is your favorite drugstore skincare products? I would love to know what is your favorite brand. Let's get a conversation going in that comment section. And of course, these products will be linked below for you for your reference. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next video. So take care and I will see you all then. Bye guys.